Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute rose flower embellishment that you can use on all different crochet products. It's a really nice quick and easy project to do and as I say you can use it on lots of different things. So what you're going to need is some yarn, I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in the colour bright pink. I'm going to use a 4mm hook, you need some scissors and you also need a darning needle. To start your project you want to make a slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer and you want to insert your hook and pull tight and you're going to start off by chaining 60 so you want to yarn over and pull through keep these chains quite loose you don't want them overly tight so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that's three stitches, or three chains, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So you want to pause the video and work your way until you have 60 stitches. If you wanted to make your rows bigger or smaller, you could make the chain longer if you want it bigger or shorter if you want it smaller, but we're actually working in multiples of four. So as long as the length of your chain is a multiple of four, you can make it whichever size that you like. So if you want to pause the video here and meet me back once you've chained your 60 chains. So now I've done my length of 60 chains and they aren't overly tight because we're going to be working our way back into those chains. Now what I like to do, just because I would hate for you to get to the other end and run out of stitches, I like to just add one or two more stitches just to ensure that if I miss a stitch then I've still got enough on the other end. So I've just added two on there. That's not necessary but um, you could do that if you are just worried that you're going to run out of stitches. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work our way back along this row. We're not going to work into this first stitch here. We're actually going to work into the second stitch along. And we're going to do a treble crochet. Now a treble crochet is known as a double crochet in the US. Same stitch, it's just different terms. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that second chain from the hook. Um, some people prefer to just work through one loop, some people prefer to work through two, it really doesn't matter in all fairness, whichever you prefer. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, so you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two, so you have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then you have one loop on the hook. So that is your first treble crochet. You're going to do eight of these in total. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now if you notice as I'm doing this, when I'm doing the treble, I hold on to the base of that stitch. The reason I do that is because it, do, it stops the other stitches from pulling um, and it makes it easier to work along the rest of your, of your chain. So that's our second stitch. Again, I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's three, and then we'll do our fourth one. And five. Six. Seven. And eight. So there are eight stitches and that forms like a shell, which is going to be one of our petals. So then what you want to do is have a look at your next stitches. So if I just pull this open slightly here, this is the stitch that we've just worked in. We then have the stitch next to it and we're actually going to work into the next stitch. So we're skipping a stitch and working into the next one. What you want to do here now is do a slip stitch. So you want to insert your hook straight into that 
second stitch along, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the other loop on the hook, and then that brings that half of the petal down towards the towards the chain. We're then going to do eight trebles into the second stitch along. So we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to work into this one. So you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and then do exactly the same as we did last time. So eight stitches all into this same chain space. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to skip the next chain and work into the next one and we're just going to do a slip stitch into there. So insert the hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. So as you're working along your chain, you will find that this will start to twizzle slightly. So it will start to spiral. That is absolutely normal. So you just want to repeat this same thing all the way to the very end of your chain. So if you want to pause the video, work your way to the end and I shall meet you back and show you what to do then. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my chain and I've done all of these shells all the way along. Now, as it turns out, when, I get, when I've got to the end, I've just done my eight trebles across here. I actually have three um, chains left, which means that somewhere along the line I skipped a chain, but it's absolutely fine, that's no problem, that's why I added two, just to make sure that I had enough on the end. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my hook into the very last chain, and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch, and then I'm just going to yarn over and pull through again, just to make a knot in the end of that row and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice long tail so a good few inches long and I'd probably say maybe about 10 inches long just so you've got enough. I'm going to cut that yarn and then I'm going to pull the yarn through that very last stitch to make a knot. So you end up with a bit of a curly whirly piece of work here which is all spiraling on each other and then on this end you should have um, your very first end uh, which is where we first started and then you have a nice long end which we're going to use to actually make this into a flower. So you want to take your darning needle and you want to thread up your yarn. So now you've threaded up your needle you want to begin working this rows so it can be a little bit fiddly but what you want to do is turn this first petal inwards so it's almost like back on itself and you want to flip your work upside down and what you're going to do is you're going to take this thread and just sew it in just so it catches that first petal. So if I just turn it back this way, you can see if I let go, it holds it. And then you're going to place your next petal where you would like it. Turn the work. And it might be that you just have to work over the other side slightly and just bring that through. And then you can place your next petal and sew that in. So you don't have to be particularly neat because you're not going to see this side of the work. And then just do exactly the same thing. You just want to just keep catching those petals just so they're nice and secure. 
and this is how it starts to work its way. Now some people prefer to have like a petal here and then you can see the other petals on the side and then another petal here. Other people prefer to have them quite uniform so it depends on what kind of look you're going for. Play around with it. Um, but I'm just going to continue to sew my petals down in order to create the type of flower that I'm wanting. So you might just want to keep turning it right way and then turning it on the back and just have a play around with it. If you want to pause the video and sew on all your petals and I'll show you what to do just to make sure it's nice and secure. So I shall see you back in a moment. So I've finished with my rose now. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I've just got this last little bit to, to do. And what I'm going to do is instead of having this last shell facing outwards, I'm just going to curl it in slightly just so it's a bit more um, neat and tidy from the other side. So I'm just going to finish off by putting my needle back in and then making a knot and then just to make sure that it's extra secure I'm going to just hook my needle or thread my needle right the way through the work catching all those stitches and pulling it through and then tying it off again and this just helps it all stay a little bit more secure And then I'm just going to weave that thread back through and you can go ahead and snip it off. So there is my rose. I think it's really pretty. Uh, this is the other one that I've done here. They might look quite nice if you wanted to put a little um, button in the middle. But they make really cute embellishments and I think if you had like a glittery yarn these would look really really cute as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to make sure you keep up to date with any of my latest videos and I shall see you again next time. Thanks, bye!